heading for a showdown. Two teams who thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Now they get their wish. Fans the world over are fully focused on this atmospheric stadium where the drama is about to be played out over the next 90 intriguing minutes. Who will prevail? It's West Ham United. They face Manchester United and it's live on EA TV. Hello from the London Stadium and the weather gods have been kind to us. It's a sunny day in this part of the English capital. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United up against Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the West Ham eleven. Alphonse Areola begins in goal. Vladimir Tsofal starts with Emerson in the fullback positions. Lucas Paqueta starts with Jared Bowen out wide. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Well, it's certainly a back four, but I think we'll see a lot of rotation in midfield. They just need to have a good understanding about when to support the front player and when to drop that little bit deeper. It certainly looks like a 4-5-1 to me. Just wasn't going to give that ball away. Well, a swift challenge and a throw-in coming up. Options in the middle. Just the challenge that was required. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Fernandes. Corner given to United. And there's the delivery. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Mohamed Kudus. In possession, Bowen. Tomasz Socek. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. Antonio. Oh, great defending. Lisandro Martinez. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Slipshod passing. Antonio. Vladimir Tsofal. Inside he goes. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Rasmus Hoilund. That's a good looking ball. And an astute piece of defending. Oh, genuine chance. And the keeper there to deal with it. And he's fired over the corner. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward.
Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. So West Ham get us moving again. And a swift response required after the setback. Edson Alvarez in possession, Bowen. Antonio. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. And a chance to whip it in here. Alvarez. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Here's Juan Bisaka. Well, it's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. So the second half underway with the hammers behind. Can they turn this game around? Patience and persistence on the passing front in the name of finding an equaliser. A spot on with that challenge. And he might be through here. Antonio. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. Sofian Amrabat. More than decent this from United. Timely intervention. 30 minutes to go then. So check on the ball, Mikael Antonio. West Ham recovering possession. Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Well, it's a textbook example of dynamic passing. Rasmus Hoylun. Determined defending. Well, these West Ham fans can sense an equaliser coming here, but can the players respond? Casemiro. Sofian Amrabat. Edson Alvarez and into the last 15 minutes of action Tomas Socek oh, good use of the ball could play it in Paqueta Onto Antonio. Superbly read and executed. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Promising sequence. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Well, good effective pressure.
Hoylund. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Emerson. On the ball, Mikael Antonio. How do they have a goal in the future? They're giving it a go. There will be one minute added on at the end. Antonio. Still trying to make something happen. The whistle for full time and a bad day at the office as far as West Ham are concerned. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. But it just seems in this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.